Hey, this next one, we're going to make the spinning piece. Well, we have need to have the piece that is going to be spinning. In this case, it's a popsicle stick with a hole drill in it. We're going to need the thing that it spins around, a little bit of skewer, and what it's going to spin on. It's going to spin on this cardboard. And what you could do is simply pop a hole in the cardboard, stick this in here and glue it in, and, and have that spin. But we're just going to make it a little bit stronger by, by gluing this on there with it so that it's got some extra strength instead of just being cardboard. So I've got this piece stuck into the cardboard. But here's the trick to gluing something like this. Take it back out and put some glue into that hole. Now it's gluing itself into the hole that we're sticking in there, right? I also want this piece glued down. So really quickly, I'm going to put down a little bit more. And that's all going to go, all that hot glue is going to be underneath this. So now I've got a really strong post sticking out of my piece of cardboard. Okay. Once that cools, I'm going to be able to add the piece that spins. So let me just try to get that to fit on there a little bit. Okay. Now the last step is to keep it from falling off. So obviously it can just slide right back off the skewer. In the past, I've seen people try to use hot glue, but a lot of students will get it stuck to the, they'll, they'll end up gluing this post to the thing that's supposed to spin. And so the safest way to, to do it, in my mind, it would be to cut another piece of popsicle stick. So here's a popsicle stick with a hole drill in it. Use the tin steps in the back of my room, or get an adult to help you. Okay, I'm sliding that right over the top, and now I'm gluing this to the pin. The pin doesn't move. This piece on top doesn't move. Should be nice and strong, while at the same time letting that popsicle stick spin on the inside. So let's give it a try. There is a spinning piece.